Hi folks. Uh, so today's a miserable day, so uh, I thought I'd just do a video and um, I'm gonna show you my latest purchase and uh, it made all the difference in my in my uh, astrophotography. So um, I'll show you that and see, uh, show you my outside there, nice and wet and gray. Uh, it's freezing rain and uh, couldn't go couldn't go hiking, so I'm gonna do a video. Hope you like it. <laughs> Okay, so actually, uh, this is my normal stuff, but uh, I just wanted to quickly show you, uh, I have something else to show you, but I just wanted to show you how I got the um, the focuser mounted on my uh, Explore Scientific 102, and, uh, and it fits inside the box that this is the, the crate for it, and uh, it fits nicely in there. I just had to cut out a little slice, and I don't, uh, and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's mounted in its original case so so that's pretty cool but what I wanted to show you was uh, the one change I made which I'll show you in a second so here it is it's the William optics reducer flattener it's a 0.8 reducer and flattener and it's really high quality uh, I'm pretty pleased with this adjustable flattener focal reducer 0.8 that's the that's the uh, model flat six a one 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 or six a three, and uh, this has the adjustment ring. This is a like a lock ring, and then this thing uh, screws in and out, and and it becomes your adjustment. And it has markings, so you uh, you don't have to take a ruler out. You can just go by the markings uh, how how you're adjusting your back focus. So um, the really nice thing I found about this was that uh, it also reduced the overall length of my scope. Now I basically have this mounted directly into the uh, focuser and I don't need any extensions. On my old flattener I needed two extensions and uh, so this is great. So it's less strain on the focuser and, uh, it's, and it does a really nice job. So um now you guys may have seen me uh with videos where i had all this trouble with focus and collimation and uh, so what it appears to be fundamentally was my flattener i i finally uh was able to go out on uh, many nights and and kind of uh work with the scope without the flattener and with it and find out what's going wrong and then and it seemed to be the flattener so i bought this and the first day out with it, it was good. It was looking really good. And, and I noticed it even in the profile of my um, stars in my software that they were now kind of roundish and kind of, you know, a uh, bell shaped uh, light distribution. Whereas with the old fo uh, flattener, I was, I was kind of getting weird jagged um, uh, profile on the stars. And, uh, and I thought, uh, I thought it was the software at the time. But now with this, uh, things behave nicely. Uh, the collimation was easy. Uh, it actually, now that now when I, I can see that the uh, Cheshire eyepiece collimation works just fine. And, uh, I, you know, and this, uh, you get your back focus right and the, uh, the, the field is flat. Uh, I think I only had one uh, case where I think I might have had a bit of a tilt in my images and so that's a that's this mating i believe i have to be very careful with that uh um the only thing i don't like is and this is typical of i don't know all the products today they have a taper right here and a little collar you can see there's a little collar and then there's a taper and that does not fit well into into the compression fit so I don't know why they're doing this. It's a pain in the butt and uh, it's, I think that's what's giving, possibly giving me some tilt. But other than that, uh, this thing's really great. There's my, fil my filter. And uh, what else about it? Yeah, my, now my, uh, my back focus is adjusted way much more easily. I just have a few rings here uh, that came with the camera and then I do the fine adjustment with this collar. 
and it works great. And I've got some images. I'll uh, I'll post that at the end of the video. Um, and this flattener, you can see it's it's pretty hefty. You know, it's it's a hefty thing. The old flattener was about the size of these rings, <laughs> uh, you know, like about this big. But I'm not blaming the old flattener. I I I think I I think I damaged it. Um, I had some serious uh, doing up one one uh, weekend, and uh, the flattener was also dude up. I'll show a picture of that too. And uh, I took the flattener apart to clean it. Obviously, don't ever do that because uh, no matter how uh, I guess how well I think I got it back together again, that that may have been the reason that the flattener uh, was totally messed up. So uh, if if your flattener's full of dew, you probably ruined it. <laughs> so, but anyway, uh, now uh, now I'm 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 now I'm happy. I've had been out a few times with this rig. Uh, like I say, only one time I had a kind of a, a, a tilt problem and uh, I'm getting nice uh, quality images now. Um, so thanks to Williams Optics, William Optics, really a good, uh, it's a good product. Uh, it, it's good, high quality, solid. It's pretty heavy, actually. You can see it compared to this camera. Um, and it wasn't that expensive. It was, uh, it was probably the same price as the old flattener. Uh, I don't remember exactly, but it wasn't expensive uh, as far as flattener goes. So that's what I had to show you, and uh, uh, Merry Christmas. <laughs>